So could, could you talk a little bit about how the, the setting and the imagery of the play? Sure. Um, you know, one of the things we, we frequently think about with the Greeks is where to set it. I suppose even if you're doing Shakespeare, you wonder kind of about time period. And um, this is not a play that we set in, in the period in which it was written. Um, we, we looked primarily, we were looking at um, communities kind of after war. Um, uh, and so a lot of the imagery for the show actually comes from research that we did into the bombings of Dresden. And, um, and so the show has a look of certainly a community after wartime, um, but also the actors are, um, are dressed, while fairly neutral, they're dressed in, in um, costumes that may uh, certainly more closely resemble 1940s Germany than you know, 2,500 years ago in Greece. So that's a pretty purposeful choice that we've made in terms of dress um, and scenery. Uh, and the other, the other thing we've done is, is kind of a neutrality versus some color choices. Our, our royals, if you were, are always in blues and our chorus is always in grays. Um, you see very little color in the show uh, with the except and, and Tiresias is a little bit different. Tiresias is, is all in white as the seer. Um, but all of those decisions were based on this initial research that we did. Um, again, looking at kind of Dresden and the one of the amazing things in looking at photos of Dresden is that it's it's amazing devastation, but uh, it seems like more often than not, kind of public war monuments weren't touched. And so you'll see this beautiful war monument in the midst of just tremendous rubble and, and heartache. So that's kind of the look we were going for with this. One of the most common questions we get about the sweeping of the, the ashes. Yeah. yeah. So the stage, this is an interesting little stage tidbit, but the stage is covered in dirt. Um, it's, um, it's rubberized dirt that we, we cover the stage in, and, um, and the show starts with, uh, with one of the chorus members kind of literally picking through the debris post-battle and pulling out. Um, he pulls out, it's hard to see from stage, but he pulls out a number of trinkets that are linked specifically to, um, to family. So he'll pull out a picture of... Um, of family members, or he'll pull out keys to, to the house and things like that are all part of, kind of intertwined into the, the world. The one major change that we did with costumes, which people always ask about, is that the actors are never, uh, none of the actors are in shoes. Um, so the, the show is performed barefoot. Mm -hmm. And I'll let Peter give you their rationale. No, only that, that, well, it, only that, <laughs> I, I, mean, I, would, I would say this, that that bothers some audience members, which has surprised me. Like, why would they care? It might bother us, but it shouldn't <laughs> bother them. But, um, but the reason we do it again is because we want that image of real contact with the earth. We don't want a leather sole or a plastic sole or a rubber sole coming between us and the ground. We want it as part of the immediacy of the experience for us to just be in bare feet walking in the rubble. Yeah. It reinforces the, the idea that the human tragedy is something that we have to separate ourselves from with the human condition. Yes, right. And we had a great talk back last year and one of the uh, audience members said, oh, I really thought that what you were trying to say was that at, that at our core we're all humans. And I thought, yes, that's what we're <laughs> yes, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So sometimes yeah. those choices you make for some reason right. end up really resonating with somebody in a different way than we yeah. expected. Well, you see these characters dressed in suits and so on and so forth. And, and then they're barefoot, and, and it makes you do this, it makes you look more closely and think about what it means to be wearing a suit and what that really covers and what it doesn't, and, and whether clothes make the man or whether the man is actually really and, there. You know, not only do the audience need to be engaged, but the actors need to be engaged, and, and by removing the shoe in a, a kind of interesting but very understandable way, they have to pay more attention to their step. You know, they have mm -hmm. to watch where they walk. We've got a stage that's covered in rubble, and so they have to to really be in the moment all the time. And I, I kind of like, as a director, to throw those little challenges to the actor that aren't going to be imaginary. You know, they're going to literally have to walk through rubble, and what does that mean? Yeah. And, and that, removing the shoe, really does allow us to do that in a pretty... Um, an easy but a very real way. 